Hi, my name is Andrew Sill, and I'll be talking to you today about our quality initiative to reduce incidence of large volume IV contrast extravasation events occurring during outpatient CT exams. We were specifically looking at large volume IV infiltration events greater than 50 milliliters, and we used a blend of DMAIC and PDSA cycles to carry out this plan. Initially, the staff, techs, and nurses at our institution subjectively noted an increased incidence of large volume IV contrast extravasation events occurring during outpatient CT exams. We know that this can cause soft tissue injury, discomfort, morbidity, and many other downstream uh, outcomes. A brief comparison to other sites across the Mayo Enterprise confirmed our site had significantly higher rates of large volume contrast extravasation events. And although the incidence was still relatively rare, we felt that a gap had been identified that could be resulting from substandard protocols. And we did not attempt to completely eliminate these events, uh, but we did feel that we could at least reduce the rate. We, during our measure phase, we developed a strategy with a work group of radiologists, technologists, and nurses in our department. Data was reviewed from an enterprise-wide radiology safety event reporting system uh, over a two-year period, and initial observations and recommendations were obtained from radiology technologists, nurses, and radiologists regarding potential causes for these events. Uh, a contrast IV assessment and check process value stream map was drafted. We drafted a CIPOC R process map, which is shown here, and a fishbone diagram to help us identify potential causes of IV infiltration events. During the measure phase, we chose to focus our efforts first on the outpatient CT practice since their peripheral IV catheters were initiated by our radiology nursing staff. Uh, we decided not to focus on the inpatient and ED patients yet because their IVs uh, have a little bit more variability since they're placed by the ED and inpatient nursing staff. We plan to translate our findings though into this practice eventually. We developed a CT tech process flow map to help understand the process of placing an IV and deciding whether it is safe to inject contrast. And then moving into the analyze phase, we, uh, based on a survey of our department staff, multiple factors were identified that were likely in causing the increased incidence. We discovered varying levels of communication regarding these events between our nurses, technologists, and radiologists. And we also felt that there were non-standard protocols for infiltration risk screening, IV assessment, and reporting and documenting these infiltration events. We found a total of 51 events. 23 of those were large volume, greater than 50 milliliters. Our event rate is shown here, extending into Q3 of 2020. We still have 23 total events that have been found. 0.8 events per 1,000 CTs. And a contrast IV assessment and check process map has been drafted based on these findings, but continues to be a work in progress. Going forward, the I and C portions, the improve and control phases of DMAIC, are in progress, but have been delayed due to COVID-19 staff furloughs, et cetera. Um, we are in, in the process of implementing these standardized workflows and protocols for reporting these events. Together, these may proactively reduce the incidence of these events. Here's an example of our proposed workflow for the IV pre-contrast assessment, still a work in progress as mentioned. Um, but in conclusion, blending the DMAIC and PDSA methodology has aided in determining the factors that contribute to these infiltration events, developing standardized workflows and creating protocols for reporting these events. Uh, we continue to meet virtually for now and we'll be actively monitoring these events going forward during the continuing improve and control phases of DMAIC. Thank you.